Hi and welcome to Matt Bayerski YouTube channel. Lovely to see you. Great morning. It's boiling here um, on the magical mountains of Mihas. Today is a very interesting topic of self-help and I hope it does help you. And don't be upset. Don't be shouting uh, at the screen when I start to um, try to bring balance into this uh, topic of conversation. It is only because it's good for us to see all sides. And by doing that, we are able to look in our mirror and say, you know what, maybe there's some truth in that. Or maybe you look in the mirror and say, no, actually, I've really thought about that. There's no truth in it, so good for you. Uh, it, it, all I ever do is want you to question yourself. And um, I don't expect everything that I share with you to make complete sense because if you would have share this kind of information with me uh, 13 years ago, I would have laughed and switched off within two seconds. So I think the nice thing about this is if you are watching and you spend 10 minutes watching these videos, that says a lot about you. It says a lot about your uh, spiritual growth. Most people can't even watch um, uh, social media for more than 30 seconds. They just, just can't do it. And the reason why is they've been um, trained or manipulated to only be focused on something for a few seconds and that's kind of part of the dark agenda unfortunately if you truly understand life it's about taking your time it's about enjoying the moment it's about relaxing and um, basically clearing your mind of the um, the the mind's need for speed need for you to you know have a quick fix and uh, anyway i'm not going to go off on one i could but i'm not but if you're watching this and you watch the videos every day and you spend 10 minutes watching them all the way through, good for you, it means you're growing. <laughs> it's a brilliant thing. So what's today's topic? Whew, here goes then, today's topic, how can I put this? Living or working with people who we believe are toxic. Okay, Hot, awful, isn't it? <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning, and that's you. First of all, dear friends, it is very, very important that you pat yourself on the back because the fact that you are now different from the people who you feel are challenging for you at the moment or in the way of draining you or there's many different names, vampires, they're draining my energy, they're this, they're that, look, the fact that you understand this and feel this is a beautiful, wonderful start of your journey. But first you have to look back at when you worked with them or you lived with them and they were okay. Why was that? Okay, they might not have been perfect, but you were okay. You were living with that. And the reason why these things happen is because you have grown. You have seen. You are now awakening. You are now recognizing who you want to be and what you want to become. Good for you. But you cannot blame other people because now you're enlightened. That's, that's not fair. That's, that's uncalled for. Shame on you. What you should be doing is saying, thank goodness I'm not like that. But then again, if you say, thank goodness I'm not like that, what you're saying is, in, in a sense, that they are different from you and you know that they're lower and da -da, and before you know it, you then enter into that energy. The secret is to respect that person for who they are and let them be. Because if you do that, it doesn't affect you. But if you think to yourself, oh my God, they're a low vibration, they're doing this to me, guess what you're doing? You're allowing them into your life to suck your energy. But if you respect their path, listen to this, if you respect their journey, that means that there's no interference. There's no judgment. You just allow them to be who they are. I have friends who are who, who like to go out and drink and party, who talk about other people, but that's their journey, that's where they are. I was there once, so why would I say anything wrong? If I don't want to be around them people, then I won't, it is my choice. But you may be saying, I live with a person, but that's the same thing in the, in the essence of life. If you have a life partner and they're a different energy level than you, 
it's acceptance. You accept them for what they are. You don't take from them. You don't expect from them. That was me once. That was you once. Focus on you and your energy and your power and your journey. Leave them alone and when they come to you and they take, or you feel they're taking, just smile and just be there for them. Open the door of life, open the door, uh, the doorway to the energy that you're feeling. Meaning that you're not giving them that, but you're saying that you hope that one day they will walk into the same doorway you did, the awakening. So by being a lighthouse, by shining your light every day, guess what happens? They see that and then they fight against it and try and take from you and then eventually they realize that they can't take from you, but maybe they need to then awaken to what you're like and then all of a sudden they start to change. You are the change in the people's lives that you want to change, that you shouldn't change. S sounds very bizarre, but the secret is always inverted. It's always the wrong way around. So if you try and help, it's the wrong way around. Don't help them. But by being you and just following your path, just following your journey, just believing and trusting in that what you have to do is equally as important as what they are trying to do. So don't be pulled into their energy because that's your fault, not theirs. Don't blame them, that's your fault. But if you stand strong, if you, if you become strong, people recognize that and feel that. They respect that. What that means is that you may not be where you think you are at present. So when you meet people and you have utmost respect for them, that's because they know who they are and they can't be affected by you. And you know that and you then have this respect between people. You know what I mean? You meet somebody and you have that respect for them. You don't push too far. You don't give to it because it's a respect. Well. They earn that through what they do, what they kick out, their energy. So you work on yourself daily. You work on you daily. Forget about everybody else. Just send a prayer, send your love and your healing with all love, all kindness, but don't get involved in their life, in their traumas, in their worries, in their fears. Just let them be. Even if they live with you, respect that. Let them be. That's their journey. But your journey is your journey. And that's why I'm here today. I'm here today to give you the power back because no one has the power over you unless you give them that power. Unless you start thinking about them and thus you become a prisoner in their world. You have allowed them to enter into you and cause you a slowdown of your progress. Therefore, I am talking to you today and I am saying I don't care what you think about the other people who are causing you issue. I care about you and that you have to be stronger than them. That is the secret. That is the ultimate power within you. It is not selfish. It is simply a trust and a knowing that you are on your right journey and everybody else is on theirs. It is a respect, show compassion, show understanding. Look back on your life and realize that was me once and how blessed I am to be where I am now. <laughs> it may not make any sense and you might be throwing like eggs at me and whatever, but you know what? There might be something in this few moments and if there is, I really hope it's helped you and if not, then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't sort your life out and you can't change your job and you can't cope anymore with the person you're with. Well, if that's the case, if you really feel that, then maybe you might have to walk away. But if you are gonna walk away, walk away with love and kindness and not anger and don't look for blame to walk away from anybody. Do it because of you and because of the right reasons to help them. I love you with all my heart. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for subscribing to MarkBayerski.com. Thank you for booking on. There's been lots of bookings for the Pure Energy Healing Academy for this, um, I think, uh, September, uh, October, November, and next year. So you're all booking on. You all want to become healers. You all want to become um, 
Masters with crystals, you all want to learn the tarot cards. I'm so happy. Thank you, and I'll see you soon in Spain. Love you all. And also, see you in September the 2nd in Ballet. I think there's only two places left, so we're, we've done fabulous. Love you all. Life's wonderful, and you are amazing. You are, and you're doing great. You're doing really well. Keep going, guys, from this hat to yours.